Hello friends, Ashton here. So in today's live coding project, I'm going to show you how to handle custom menus in AppScript. Okay, so first, uh, we need to understand what kind of object we can we can add or element we can add to the custom functions like for example here so we basically can have three main elements in the custom menu so the core one is this button here right in this menu so for every if this is native menu you will see here is a drop down list and we have this separate line here so this is not another element in the menu and uh, we can have sub menus like for example this number then we have this sub menu and uh, so this basically we have the menu item separate uh, separate line here like this and then another one is sub menu so that's basically three elements so we need to understand uh, what we can do here in the menu items and uh, there are basically two types of custom menus one is like this so we can create a tab here for the custom menus so this is i think for the most of the time we're talking about the custom menus and you have option to basically add a, a add a add-on custom menu here like this so if i have my add-on here so they are going to be wrapped in this extension and then you're going to have a menu like this so as you can see here for this live coding a demo here i have this menu in both extensions and uh, i have a custom menu here all right so let's uh, just get started and have the project set up for you and then we can do the code line by line and here as usual i'm in this youtube folder and uh, i don't have any files here if i'm listing the files here nothing is here and uh, i'm going to use clasp to create the project and the title this time i'm going to for live coding project i need to and the type this time uh we can use sheets but this custom menu can be created for you know uh, docs slides forms so we can use all of them but in this time i'm going to use google spreadsheets so it's going to create a new file and uh, it's going to take a while to do that i think so this is a new file i'm going to open it here all right and uh, let's check if i open the code editor here so we have this created for us and i'm going to delete the parent and i'm going to add the current directory here all right um, so i'd like to add a, add a new file here in this directory and i'm going to call it main.js so then we can uh, we can work in we can work on in this directory now and in this file and this is going to be a simple project and uh, i think one file can host the, all the code here and in this demo here i'm going to create so normally what we, we can do normally here to create a menu so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a function called unopen so this is basically a trigger function every time you open the document this function is going to be executed so this is a pre preserved keyword on open function uh, by google so and what we can do here we can basically normally what we do here we basically get a ui so i'm using spreadsheet to get ui because we are in the spreadsheet and uh, if this is in the document we need to use document app or get ui so depending uh, where you want to build this right and uh, you even can define a function to do that to get the depending on different uh, document you are in so you can create a get ui function uh, basically to do that if you want and then i'm going to create a menu and in this ui we can create a menu so here you will see you have two options here two methods one is create a menu so this menu here is basically uh, a menu here I'm going to add a new tab here for the menu 
and uh, the second one here, create add-on menu. And this menu is going to be added into the extensions like this. So for this demo, I'm going to use create, uh, create menu here. And we need to give a name because uh, you're going to have a name here, a tab name here for this menu. So that's why it requires a caption here. So let's say a caption. And if you're trying to create an add-on menu, uh, you don't have this, uh, you don't need to pass any caption here for the menu name because it's always added into the extensions, right? So that's the only difference for this create add-on menu or create menu. And uh, I'm going to define this caption here. So the caption would like to like coding. All right, so normally what we can do here with this menu, so we can add the item uh, the method we have here, so we have the add item method and we have the add sub menu method. So, and add separator. So, this is the, the, the core three element we can do to the menu. So, add a item like this, right? Like this, like item here, and uh, add a separator. So, this is basically the separator line and add a sub menu. So, this is going to be a sub menu like this. So, so in this in this demo here, I'm going to add an item. So the item here, the caption is basically uh, if this I'm going to add app script. So uh, item here, so the caption is going to app script, and uh, we should attach this to let's say to a function here, right? The function name. So I'd like to say function to be to be done or to be done like this. So right now this function is not yet defined. And then we can add a separator if we want. And then, then we can add another function or add another item. So I say item two, and I'm going to bind this to the same function. And then you can add a sub menu. So you can add a sub menu. And this add sub menu is going to take another um, menu object, right? You can create, let's say, sub menu is equal to UI create, and then we can say this is sub menu, and uh, you can add this sub menu here, but you need to add a sub add a function here in this sub menu. So this sub menu here, you need to add a like this is uh, item one function to be done. So in this case, what structure is going to be looks like, uh, we have, so basically after you all, uh, after you added all the elements to the menu and you need to render this to the UI. So just add to UI, then it's going to add it to this spreadsheet for in this specific example here. But this is basically what we normally do. And let me just define this uh, function to be done. Uh, fn to be done, I'm going to, I'm going to just alert something here. I'm going to get the UI and uh, alert. Fn to be done, okay? So in this case, if we, push this code. I have a network issue here. So this is basically the normal way to do the creation of the menu items, but I'm going to show you a better way uh, to handle that because uh, let me just reload this page to see if we can get this menu Because because of the recursive or the the nasty structure of this sub menu system, because you are uh, if you have a lot of functions or if you have a complex structure of the menu, uh, you will see the you are going to uh, create a lot of things here. So this is basically we have the function here, and uh, we have the item, we have the separator, the item two, and sub item, 
in this sub item we have this item too right um, so this is basically the code we, we just wrote uh, we just wrote here and uh, I'm going to simplify this a little bit and we can reuse some of this code because as you can see this sub menu here uh, we are basically doing the same thing for this create menu here right so this item menu the the first level and then we have the sub menu this is like second level of your your menu structure right so what we can do here uh, let me just create another function called create menu uh, const create menu and i'm going to add underscore here and uh, this is going to take the first parameter here i'm going to call it uh, ui and by default i'm going to use the spreadsheet ui and the second or the second uh, or and the third parameter here i'm going to give it a the first parameter here i'm going to call it items so basically these items is basically the items in the menu and uh, i'm going to pass a caption here by default is if it's null or not by default is going to be a caption with null so this caption is going to be the menu for the caption i'm not sure if you remember you can create two types of menus so for the add-on menu we don't need to use a caption but for the normal menu normal custom menu we need to pass a caption here right so this is function i'd like to write here to simplify the process so we can reuse this function and what i can do here i can create a menu here and we're going to check if we have the caption so if we have the caption that means we need to create the menu with the caption so this is going to be a normal custom menu and uh, if we don't have this caption so i assume we're going to create an add-on menu because we don't have this caption so this way we can use this function to create either a add-on menu or a, a custom menu a normal custom menu like this and for the items so it's going to be an array okay and we could have three options here i'm going to define three types of items so the first type is going to be a type of normal item and it's going to be an object with a caption for the or i'm going to name it uh I think I'm going to name it caption. Like for example, app script is going to be the caption, and it's going to take another property for this one. It's going to be the action or the function name. So it's very similar to what we are doing here in this line, right? We have this caption here, and we have this function name here. So, so for example, function to be done, and this is one the first type. And the second type, I'm going to call it separator, so SEP for short. So, so this is a second type of, so this could be, so if we have a separator, which is uh, with a true value, and we're going to create a separator item. And uh, another one, the last one, is going to have a submenu. So in this submenu, it's going to have a title, and uh, like this is submenu. And this one is going to take another item. So this one is going to take a another like uh, items in items. So in this items, it's going to repeat itself. Then we can have the caption. So we have also, also we have another three types of items in this one. So this is a nested one, right? Very similar to what we can see here. So they are basically nested. So with this type of structure, so let me just... Uh, item one and uh, fn let's say fn to be done so let's say this is our items so this is the items i'd like to pass to this function all right so let's just comment this out for now so what i need to do here i basically need to i need to go through this list so i'm going to Let's just do this again. 
So items for each. You cannot get this one. I'm going to loop through all of these items. Some something is wrong here. So I'm going to this destructure this object here. Okay. So for each item in this items list, I'm going to get the caption. I'm going to get the function name, get the separator, get the title and get the items and we're going to check them one by one so if we have title and uh, uh, if we have the caption and we have fn so that means what we need to do here we need to we need to add the menu item right so with this caption and the fn here uh, so and uh, i need to break the loop here by return it like this uh, also i can do return here so basically doing the same thing uh, and if the if we have a separator is equal to true something like this if the separator is equal to true or just a, if the separator if we have a separator i'm going to return menu at a separator and if we have the title and uh, items. So what we need to do here, what we can do here, we need to add a sub menu, right? So menu add sub menu. But right now we don't have the sub menu. How do we how do we create this sub menu? We can reuse this function here. Let's say we can maybe we can do const sub menu equal to create menu in here. I'm going to pass the UI and we can pass the title item and then we're going to pass the caption. The caption this time is going to be the title here. So this way we can create a sub menu and we can pass the sub menu here. But what we can do here, so this should be items. I can replace this one. So basically I can do something like this. I can return here. So this is basically we can handle three uh, types of items of the menu items here. So the first one here, the normal menu item, and then we have the separator item, and then we have the sub menu. But we are record, we are call, uh, calling this function in this function. So this is called I uh, think is called re recursion or something like that. So it's basically calling itself, and uh, finally. I'm going to return this menu, right? Because uh, we are we are returning this one. So this is like uh, so we define this menu here, and then we keep adding items to this menu, and then we return this menu, and we can use it. And uh, here I'm going to delete this because I'm going to that just for a for me to explain the structure of the items. And what we can do here, we can just replace. So we can define our function menus here. Just the code I copied from, right? I default, I cannot type here. And here, I, what I can do here, I can say const menu is equal to create a menu and the UI a spreadsheet get UI so by default is this value so I don't need I don't even need to pass that and the items is going to be the items and the caption is going to be the caption and uh, in this case I need to call the last one I'm sorry I have to stop here okay I'm back and uh, let's complete the rest of them here uh, so we have the menu created and we need to add this menu to the UI and in this specific example we're adding this to the spreadsheet right and if I push this code the updated code to the project and um, we should have the 
menu created. So if I reload this page to re-trigger the unopen function, and it's going to have this menu created. So I think, yeah, the function to be done. And the sub menu function to be done. So that's basically uh, this core function here, create a menu function here to do the job for us. And uh, what we need to do, we just need to define our data structure for the items, for the menu items here. And uh, let me just grab a structure, a menu item structure, because I don't want to type all of this. It's just a, an array of objects for all of these items here. So this is going to be the menu item I'd like to show you here. So you basically can change. So you will see here that the structure is kind of uh, nested, right? So these items here, Let's see, so this is items for the first level, and then uh, this is items actually from the first level, but this is going to be the submenu. And in this submenu, and if we have these items and titles in the object, we're going to have another level. So this is the second level, and this is third level, and this is going to be the first level, right? So this is going to be our menu items here. And let me just uh, update our unopen function here a little bit. So in my in the, the beginning of the demo here, we, we, uh, we create the menu and added this menu to the to the custom menu here. And also we have added added to the extensions, right? So and uh, in this case, we can do this very easily. So I can just create a function here called maybe build menu or something like that. And, and here we can just uh, call this create, create a menu function here by passing the UI. Uh, but we don't have to pass it because we're using the spreadsheet UI by default. Okay, so if you are using this for the document, so you can use the document get UI. So you can pass this. So this is like a create, create a doc menu, something like that. So we can say create sheet menu. Uh, no, sorry, not create sheet menu. You can say this is a build sheet menu, something like that. And then this should be the spreadsheet UI, right? And what we can do here, we can say, we can create a menu, a normal menu by build this spreadsheet menu and I'm going to pass items. So this items is going to be this menu items. So I'm going to pass this menu items. And if we pass a caption here, then this menu is going to be a normal custom menu. And uh, if this is add-on menu, so I'm going to build the sheet menu and I'm going to pass the menu items. And I won't pass a caption here because this could this should be a add-on menu. I don't want to, I don't need a, a caption to do that. And then we add the menu to the UI and also we need to add the Add-on menu to the UI, All right? And in this case, let me just push the code. We should have both menus created and added to the spreadsheet. Mm. Let me check. Okay, the code has been pushed. Let me refresh this page. Let me redo that. So you will see here, now we have this kind of three level. So we have this is the first level, and then we have this sub menu, and then we have the third level, right? Uh, and here we have the custom menu here, the same way. And uh, basically you can, basically you can manage all the structure here in this object. And uh, if this is too complicated, maybe you have more and more layers. So you can rename this so by, I think by, let me check. So if I copy this item, if I just, so I can define 
it comes to, maybe I say this is a sub menu, right? Because I don't want to nest all of them. I don't want to nest everything. So I can even let me delete this and uh, delete this. So this is sub menu, and I'd like to add this sub menu here. So I can do things like this, and then I can always keep the menu in one level like this. And uh, even you should be able to copy this to another one. Let's say this is the third level. This is third level menu, and this should be the second. Let me just rename it. Second level. So I'm going to add the three items. So this is third level, and uh, I'm going to add this second level here. So in this case, we always have one level. So this is third level and this is the second level. And the third level we add it into the second level and the second level we add it to the first level. And we may rename this to first level. And uh, we just uh, replace this with first level, first level. So then we can manage our data a little bit easier if we have a very complex menu structure, right? So I hope this, I'm not sure, let me just uh, push the code to verify this change. I, did, I didn't do anything wrong here. We should get the same result, I think. So let me just refresh. Yeah, everything is working the same. So in this way, we just can organize our code a little bit easier uh, if we have a very complex thing here. But for most of the case, if we just have one function, two functions in the menu, I don't think it's not a very big issue. But if you have a very complex menu structure, this could be a, a better way, I think, to manage the, the menu uh, in App Script. So I think that's it for this sharing. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.